Hi there everyone, welcome to the Intuitive Patterns for the month of September 2019. The cards that I pulled this month from the Osho Zen Tarot are Experiencing, Morality, and the Master. The Medicine cards are Antelope and Moose. The Mayan Oracle is Etznab, Unity, and the Transformer. The Ancient Egyptian Tarot is the Ten of Wands, the Five of Discs, and the Prince of Wands. The Aleister Crowley deck is the Ace of Discs, Abundance, and Luxury. The Healing Earth Tarot is the Ten of Feathers, the Grandmother of Feathers, and the Ace of Shields. The Words of Truth are Guilt, Breathing, Telepathic Agreement, Multidimensional, and Death. Now, just so you know, when I do the intuitive patterns for the month, um, I actually do them on the 10th of August before September. So I do these way in advance. And um, I do it because, you know, I want to give like a metaphorical impression of uh, what's really going on in the world. But this one really got me when I started seeing that the Amazon rainforest is burning to the ground. And I had the words of truth which were guilt, breathing, telepathic agreement, multidimensional, and death. And <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, humanity should feel guilty that we have not been listening to nature's telepathic agreement between humanity and nature. Um, and there is a multidimensional death going on. Um, I mean, for myself as a psychic, I can tell you that the animals burning to death and the birds burning to death and the sloths burning to death and the tortoises burning to death um, is just devastating to me. It's like as a psychic, it is almost all I can do every day to take a breath. And so really know that this is so incredibly serious. And we've had the grandmother of feathers, you know, basically trying to warn us in the cards about this. And this was before it even happened, I was pulling these cards. And, you know, the Ten of Wands is is just, you know, this card of entrapment and, and pulling your hair out and freaking out. And I can imagine that, you know, we, uh, with the Oshas and Tarot, Tarot we are experiencing a, a crisis in morality, a crisis in consciousness. And, you know, we have to really figure out how to take action, which is antelope. And we have to do it with some form of dignity, which is moose. So it's a big month, September, clearly. And um, I did these cards way in advance. And now they even make more sense than they did at the time because I was looking at them thinking, God, you know, like, what are these about? But now I know what they're about. So it seems that September is the beginning point for some sort of breakdown. I'm assuming this is global, which it clearly is now because of the astrology, but these things will also impact us personally, just like me and you and so many other best sensitive people out there. You need to take a look at what you need to go deep and to stay awake to an external world that is going to behave radically different than you would have ever anticipated. I am not sure that um, any of us wanted to hear this, but from this point on, the astrology is plunging us into a conjunction between Saturn and Pluto and Capricorn in January 2020 with Jupiter going in on December 2nd and all of those then are going to square um, Mars and Aries. And so this month, September, is beginning to reflect that massive astrological energy shift. This conjunction that's between um, Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn has not happened in a long time, since like 1232. I mean, it's been a really long time. And so we're kind of in a place that we don't have any reference points and we don't have any maps. And my suggestion is that we need to start making some, you know, that we just need to come together and figure out how to do this. Let's start with the Ace of Discs in the Aleister Crowley Tarot. This card is a coin with the inscription, to Meta Ophion, which means the great beast. It is a warning that those of greed, power, attachment, um, have manifested into something very dark and very dangerous. 
And this energy is going to try to pull us away from the areas of love and acceptance and pull us into ego that is driven by the mind and that wants ownership to be right and have power. It is an indication that something dark lurks in the shadows of each of us. And that energy, that energy, that dark energy is now on the move. As that darkness moves through the physical plane, there will be a high cost and a tremendous consequence. And I can't believe I wrote this on the 10th of August, okay? The way through is not denial, but about staying awake and centered within the core values of life, humanity, family, country, and community. The past choices are now requiring great strength, determination, and focus to move us out of this horrible place as gracefully as possible. My intention this month is to take this time to open and move with clarity, choice, and acceptance. The luxury card indicates that emotions are confused and clouded. The time of abundance is over. It is at an end because there is no healthy reciprocating going on. Energy goes in, but less and less is being returned, just like the oxygen. Those in money and power are keeping the bulk of luxurious things and not giving enough back. The selfish and unstable are in control of the world, turning the feminine energies into the darker side of reality. The Ten of Wands shows overwhelming oppression and difficulties. Resources will be spread too thin and victimization and persecution of nature will have gotten out of control. And once again, I can't believe I actually said that on the 10th of August. The problems are causing systems to break down. Fear and guilt become fuel for a long-term death process. What that will look like is deeply personal and based on what you have learned in this and other lifetimes. Then we've got the five of discs. It's about money, loss of income, changes in status, breakdown, existing systems that don't work, breaking down even more. Problems are on the material, physical plane of existence. There are people that will be indecisive and not know what to do next as they are all in unfamiliar territory in a situation that is absolutely gone out of control. This month is about being a master over, it, this month is not about being a master over others, but in mastering yourself. Self-control is a key that must be experienced, honed, and used to become a weapon of clarity and light. It is about sharing what you have in this moment freely and without judgment. Sometimes that sharing shows up as your wisdom. Sometimes it is about sharing resources. We are in a time when we begin to recognize that we cannot teach each other what is truth. Truth is a transmission that is beyond the great books of religion and beyond words. It is an energy. What leads you to truth is a deep longing to be that hidden possibility that is within each of us. This is a time when you begin to see that some rules of morality have become rigid tools that minds and egos use to narrow and confine the souls of others. You see that those who hold rigid rules of good, bad, sinful and virtuous, acceptable and unacceptable, moral and immoral, are judgments of the mind and not the highest expressions of the soul. When you judge, you keep yourself from experiencing the magic in this moment. You miss the beauty that surrounds you. Morality needs to be viewed as a cage of conditioning, not truth. Morality without awareness is garbage and is dangerous and damaging to everything. Morality does not authentically come from the rules and viewpoints of others. When you are aware, you will simply be unable to do things that cause harm to life and others. The moose reminds us that ego ruins accomplishments. It is the reminder that everyone has a potential within their soul. When you appreciate your own gifts as greater than another, you fail. Those that truly know themselves have the capacity to be in silence. They also know when it is proper to speak and when it is more proper to listen, watch, and wait. 
antelope reminds us that we have to take action. We have to move forward quickly and efficiently regardless of what the rest of the world is doing. Antelope points out that some are taking more than their fair share and such actions destabilize societies and nature itself. That will make people angry, reactive, and indecisive. If you are afraid, you are just not moving. Action will often alleviate the stress and anxiety you might be feeling. Make a decision that you need to make and begin that action to move you in that direction. That will help you unify and align with what is really important to you. Truth is calling your name, and in doing so, it will strip you of illusions and you will find yourself standing naked and vulnerable. You are not the complex masks that you create and maintain in the world. You are not a projection of who you believe you are. You are more than you can conceive, and it is this month that begins to break down patterns of disguise, agenda, dysfunction, and belief. Your shadow is revealed in the light as the running a game as, as running a game of dysfunction, and your light now has the opportunity to return back to a much better place. Thanks, everyone. Take care of your hearts. Talk to you later. Bye. I appreciate it.